This video is about protecting electrical connections from moisture and water ingress using a specialist dielectric connector grease. If water penetrates into any area of electrical contact, it's likely to cause a problem, and connectors are no different. Most connectors have some level of protection, be that a sealed multi-pin IP rated connector or just a cheap terminal block. Even spade and bullet connectors quite often have a plastic coating or some kind of insulation around the exterior. However, even a small level of moisture ingress can build up over time, cause corrosion and eventually the connector will fail. By way of illustration, here is a recent connector problem that a customer presented to us. This 12 volt IP rated circular connector is used on industrial excavators and earth movers. Despite the IP rating, there was moisture penetration through the rear of the connector. You can see the resulting corrosion here. This, is, this image is obviously the male side of the connector. And here is the female side. Same connector type again. The corrosion and damage here is not so pronounced. So how is this problem solved? Specialist dielectric connector grease is the solution. It's important to point out that the addition of a dielectric connector grease cannot repair already faulty connectors. Adding a connector grease is a preventative measure. Before we tell you the recommended product for water ingress from our range, let me first help you to understand the term dielectric in the context of grease. A dielectric grease does not conduct and it does not insulate. The grease sits between the contact surfaces and seals the contact area, protecting it from moisture, oxidation and other contaminants. Providing the contact forces are sufficient, a dielectric grease will not cause increased resistance across the connector. If you want to know more about how dielectric grease works, take a look at this relevant article on our support website or other videos to follow. You'll see the web address for the support site at the end of this video. Okay, back to the solution for this moisture ingress problem. To prevent water, salt water, or any moisture ingress into your connectors, we recommend the use of the specialist dielectric connector grease called Niogel 760G. Niogel 760G has a pedigree in a number of market sectors as the go-to grease for electrical protection when dealing with moisture ingress. Used across a variety of market sectors, the grease will also prevent fretting corrosion and contact wear, therefore improving the reliability and extending the functional life of the connector. The grease is fully synthetic. It will not dry up or evaporate away. Unless you are unmating and remating connectors, you shouldn't ever have to reapply the grease. Just a fit and forget, or we like to say, lube for life. As you can see, the grease looks like a clear gel. The base oil for the grease is called polyalpha olefin, or PAO for short. PAO is ideal for use as a connector grease. We don't recommend the use of silicone. There's a lot of retail contact sprays that are silicone based out there. We and our partners at Nye Lubricants do not recommend silicones for electrical applications for a number of reasons, but primarily one, we sell our 760G to a number of automotive companies. They don't allow silicones in their assembly plants as silicones have a fantastic ability to migrate and can easily contaminate around the factory and cause problems, most notably in paint shops. And secondly, in electrical applications, silicones can polymerize into hard, brittle material which can cause electrical problems and sometimes weld connectors together. The viewer may disagree with our negative view of silicones in electrical applications, but decades of experience and the approval of this theory by most of the automotive suppliers and the major manufacturers is the best evidence to show this is a widely approved policy. Back to the information about 760G and a reminder that the base oil is poly alpha olefin. The thickener used is silica. Silica is not to be confused with silicone, they're a thousand miles apart chemically. 
The silica used is hydrophobic, which gives the grease its excellent water repellency characteristic. And indeed, the grease will resist water spray or water washout. There are additives included in the formulation, details of which we don't disclose. One additive we do like to talk about is the UV dye. Myogel 760G is very hard to see in thin layers. So UV dye is really handy to aid inspection or quality departments when trying to see that the grease is present post application. If you're interested in finding out how a grease is composed or what makes a grease, take a look at our support article about the three components of grease. Applying Nyogel 760G will save your connectors from water ingress. We have a, an interesting test video about this. Obviously, we don't recommend you immerse your connector in water, but it will weatherproof the termination. And this video is a test that we recently did demonstrating its water resistance capabilities. Back over now to our problem connector. An application of 760G on each contact surface is advisable. In this example, some 760G grease is squeezed into the female side and blobs are placed on the male pins ready for insertion into the other side. In theory, you can't overuse 760G, as long as you can make the connector as normal, but common sense applies. Where the connector is IP rated and maybe has a gland at the rear of the connector, like in this example, you shouldn't overfill with grease as there is nowhere for the excess to escape when the connector is mated. Many connectors are not sealed, so any excess grease can squirt out at the back of the rear of the connector when it's mated. If you have a bad water ingress problem, you can use the grease as a moisture barrier, like this example. One thing to consider when using a grease on a connector is the exposure of the grease to plastics. Sometimes grease can cause problems with plastics and rubbers, but 760G is widely used throughout a number of industry sectors, and it's unlikely there will be any compatibility issues with the typical materials used in connectors. If you want to know more about plastic and grease compatibility issues, then we have a good overview article. There's a material compatibility chart here, and you can see on this particular column, PAO poly alpha olefin, which is 760G is based on, is mentioned. Nyogel 760G can be purchased in small amounts and is available in handy tubes such as 25 gram and 100 gram. We also sell the grease in bulk to component manufacturers. So get in contact if you have a potential high volume or bulk application for Nyogel 760G. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, take a look at our support site or get in contact via the contact page.